plantar fascia is a really interesting structure on the underside of the foot and many of you will uh, have heard of and seen presentations of plantar fasciitis, um, a condition it's painful, it uh, becomes difficult to walk. And it's one of the few times that we see fascia acknowledged as a pain generator. Uh, but even so, my feeling around this area is that it might be missing uh, an important aspect, something that's not really considered. The plantar fascia itself is often labelled as the plantar aponeurosis, a kind of variation of the deep fascia, um, and it overlays the adductor structures on the underside of the foot. But before you get to this uh, quite deep and really fibrous structure, the overlaying fatty tissue is again something that warrants consideration a look. So as with all the fatty areas around the body, this tissue is um, invariably cut away and in order to get to the sexy fascia stuff that gets all, all the attention. But this tissue, like all the other superficial tissues, um, has a hugely important function to perform um, in, in movement and stability. And I think it's probably where pain such as plantar fasciitis is as likely to be as from any other uh, fascial structure um, in the foot. Um, so the other fatty tissues around the body tend to be pretty mobile, and of course they need to be as well. You know, there's no point in having superficial fascia, you know, the adipose layer is so tight that it that it pulls or rips when you try and move around. Although uh, that is what can happen um, as a result of scarring, but you know that's uh, another story. Uh, the tissues around the arm, for instance, will move around when uh, when I press on it or move it, and there'll be a sense of sliding mechanisms um, underneath the hands um, as I manipulate the skin over the top of the deeper fascia and, and what I refer to uh, as the underlying uh, muscular structures. Um, but with the tissue on the hands, the palmar fascia and the feet, the, the plantar fascia, uh, the sliding aspect isn't something that you really want. And if you imagine it, it would be pretty disconcerting if it was there. So if, those, uh, if these surfaces had the same sliding mobility as the back or the shoulder, then every time you grip something with your hands, you know, to get a cup of tea uh, or a glass, then even a slight bit of slippage in there would render your grip useless and, and, and or, or, or sort of inaccurate and you'd see a lot of broken stuff uh, lying around. So similarly, as far as the feet are concerned, if every time you uh, took a step forward, um, even with uh, footwear on, and there was a slight give or a slight sliding underneath your feet, um, then it would be, again, extremely disconcerting and disorienting and, you know, you, you wouldn't be sure it'd be like walking on ice. So instead of the, of, of the normal uh, looser arrangements, the fatty tissues on the palms of the hand and, and the feet uh, are much more tightly packed and densified and the fibrous collagen fibers holding it together are arranged much closer. Um, as with the skin everywhere else, the, the, the superficial fashion of the skin, those fibers cling to the underside and blend into um, the plants for aponeurosis on the other end and it's seamlessly and again with incredible strength. So it's hard, to, really hard to take the skin away on the underside of the foot. So this strength and density not only gives stability to the sliding surfaces, but it, it lends um, correct tension, appropriate tension, and it helps to create the shape of the foot along with the uh, plantar aponeurosis. But it seems reasonable to me, however, to think that perhaps this tension and these fibers might also at times be overly pulled, torsioned, if you like, from one area or another. Uh, you know, these tissues aren't disconnected or discontinuous from, from any other uh, tissues in the body, and it's perfectly conceivable that injuries or functional habits uh, created somewhere else could in create a, a potential impact in, in the fatty tissues of the feet that could uh, create a torsion pull all the way through. Remember, it's not a separate layer, um, it's all connected. And this stuff uh, in this feet, this is Fatty tissue is hugely sensitive, um, very pliable, uh, a vast number of sensory nerve endings, um, and it's very adaptable, like all the tissues are, in terms of being able to be influenced uh, by other factors. And of course, it's full of those uh, ubiquitous collagen fibers that we see holding everything in place around the body. So, so don't forget the old uh, plates of meat, as we Cockneys call them. Believe it or not, I technically am a Cockney. Um, so when you're confronted with structural presentations, lower limb pains, knees, uh, you name it, you know, don't forget the feet. Think about them as something to include, maybe an assessment to look at, uh, to ask as far as your uh, questions with your client are concerned. Um, and think about them for yourself in terms of mobility through the lower limbs. They're interesting bits of kit.
If you're watching this bit, it's because I forgot to say, please subscribe, like, and give me comments, give me feedback. I love getting questions. I love getting um, ideas and, and uh, what you think. So please let me know. Um, it's really important for me to know that somebody's out there. Bye for now.